This is just in today by Northwestern University on phys.org. New holographic camera sees the unseen with high precision. And this is just one image of it. Look at this. Clearly everything. Northwestern University researchers have invented a high, a new high resolution camera that can see the unseen, including around corners and through scattered media, such as skin, fog, or potentially even the human skull. Can you imagine? Called synthetic wavelength holography, the new method works by indirectly scattering coherent light into hidden objects, which then scatters again and travels back to the camera. From there, an algorithm reconstructs a scattered light signal to reveal the hidden objects. Due to its high temporal resolution, the method also has potential to image fast-moving objects, such as the beating heart through the chest or speeding cars around a street corner. The study will be published today in the journal Nature Communications. The relatively new research field of imaging objects behind occlusions or scattered media is called non-line-of-sight NLOS imaging. Compared to related NLOS imaging technologies, the Northwestern method can rapidly capture full field images of large areas with submillimeter precision. With this level of resolution, the computational camera could potentially image through the skin to see even the tiniest capillaries at work. While the method was obvious potential for non-invasive medical imaging, early warning navigation systems for automobiles, and industrial inspection in tightly confined spaces, the researchers believe potential applications are, of course, endless for this. I finally support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Can you imagine going through the body and looking at capillaries or organs of the body? This is amazing. They said, our technology will usher in a new wave of imaging capabilities. This is what Northwestern's Florian Willem Mitzer, first author of the study, said. He says, our current sensor prototypes use visible or infrared light, but the principle is universal and could be extended to other wavelengths. For example, the same method could be applied to radio waves for space exploration or underwater acoustic imaging. It can be applied to many areas and we have only scratched the surface. Willem Mitzer is a research assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at Northwestern's McCormick School of Engineering. Northwestern's co-authors include Oliver Concert, Associate Professor of Computer Science and Electrical and Computer Engineering, and former PhD student Feng K. Lee. The Northwestern researchers collaborated closely with Prasanna Rangarajan, Mularidhar Balaji, and Merck Christensen, all researchers at Southern Methodist University. Intercepting scattered light, Seeing around a corner versus imaging an organ inside the human body might seem like a very different challenge, but uh, Willemitzer said that they're actually closely related. Both deal with scattered media in which light hits an object and scatters it in a, matter, a manner that a direct image of the object can no longer be seen. If you have ever tried to shine a flashlight through your hand, then you have experienced this phenomenon, Willemitzer said. You see a bright spot in the other side of your hand, but theoretically there should be a shadow cast by your bones, revealing the bone structure. Instead, the light that passes the bones gets scattered within the tissue in all directions, completely blurring out the shadow image. The goal then is to intercept the scattered light in order to reconstruct the inherent information about its time of travel to reveal the hidden object, but that presents its own challenge. Nothing is faster than the speed of light, so if you want to measure light's time of travel with high precision, then you need extremely fast detectors, Willemitzer said. Such detectors can be terribly expensive. Tailored waves. To eliminate the need for fast detectors, Willemitzer and his colleagues merge light waves from two lasers in order to generate 
a synthetic light wave that can be specifically tailored to holographic imaging in different scattering scenarios. If you can capture the entire light field of an object in a hologram, then you can reconstruct the object's three-dimensional shape in its entirety, Willimitzer said. We do this holographic imaging around a corner or through scatterers with synthetic waves instead of normal light waves. Over the years, there have been many NLOS imaging attempts to recover images of hidden objects, but these methods typically have one or more problems. They either have low resolution, an extremely small angular field of regard, require a time-consuming raster scan, or need large probing areas to measure the scattered light signal. The new technology, however, overcomes these issues and is the first method for imaging around corners and through scattered media that combines high spatial resolution, high temporal resolution, a small probing area, and a large angular field of view. This means that the camera can image tiny features in tightly confined spaces as well as hidden objects in large areas with, large, with high resolution, even when the objects are moving turning walls into mirrors. Because light only travels on straight paths, an opaque barrier such as a wall, a shrub, or an automobile must be present in order for the new device to see around corners. The light is emitted from the sensor unit, which could be mounted on top of a car, bounces off the barrier, then hits the object around the corner. Then the light then bounces back to the barrier and ultimately back into the detector of the sensor unit. Williamson said, it's like we can plant a virtual computational camera on every remote surface to see the world from the surface's perspective. For people driving cars, road, uh, road driving, road curving through a mountain pass or snaking through a rural forest, this method could prevent accidents by revealing other cars or deer just out of sight around the bend. This technique turns walls into mirrors, Williamson said. It gets better as the technique also can work at night and in foggy weather conditions. In this manner, the high resolution technology also could replace or supplement endoscopes for medical and industrial imaging instead of needing a flexible camera capable of turning corners and twisting through tight spaces for a colonoscopy, for example. Synthetic wavelength holography could use light to see around the many folds inside the intestines. Similarly, synthetic wavelength holography could image inside industrial equipment while it's still running, a feat that is impossible for current endoscopes. If you have a running turbine and want to inspect defects inside, you would typically use an endoscope, Williams said. But some defects only show up when the device is in motion. You cannot use an endoscope and look inside the turbine from the front while it's in running. Our sensor can look inside a running turbine to detect structures that are smaller than one millimeter. Although the technology is currently a prototype, Willow Mitzer believes it will eventually be used to help drivers avoid accidents. It's still a long way to go before we see these kinds of imagers built in cars or approved for medical applications, he said. Maybe 10 years or even more, but it will come. So this is fantastic discovery, isn't it? This is by Northwestern University on fit.org. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.